Hey guys, it's Anthony Piacciabona here, back with another midweek market update. In today's video, we're going to go over where the market's currently at, where it traded, and where we think the market's going to go. I'm over to go, also going to go over a trade that I placed. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what you trade. Without further ado, let's dive into the charts. So we're taking a look at ES Futures. This is the June contract, and we're currently at 3917 in pre-market, Thursday morning, 7.30 a.m. We traded down because of the Credit Suisse news. If you've been following the markets, you've been seeing that we've had a lot, a lot of banks have a lot of issues. So a lot of fear, you know, pushing down the markets. And we we were down a lot, but we floated up all day. So I was actually able to scalp some longs, get in some longs throughout the day, take some profit. But we're gonna go over my trade that I'm currently in. I'm still in long because I actually believe that we're gonna sweep the highs, recent highs, before continue lower, just to stop up more shorts based on a lot of uh, market internals and things I'm looking at. We're kind of consolidating uh, around the high 3900s to you know low 3900s, so 100 point range. And I personally think that we're going to just get one more push up, looking at futures to that 3979 area. So I'm in a long, and the entry is at 3914. Stop loss being below yesterday's low at uh, 3863. TP being sweeping these highs to the left at about 3979. So I think that we'll, we'll hit that today or tomorrow, honestly. And uh, if not, then I'll get stopped out for about a 50 point loss. It's small size, but I think that we're going to trade up, sweep those highs one more time, and then I'm looking to get in short and sweep the lows to the left below 3800 by the end of March. So if you take a look at the SPX, I drew a rectangle here. I think we're going to trade up into this box. So you can see the lines. Personally, I think right here, we're gonna trade up into this box, about 39.50 area on SPX, and then end of March, sweep the lows to the left, come down about 37.70 to 37.50. So that's how I'm gonna be likely positioning. Unless something changes, I'll keep you guys updated every half week here, as I do, twice a week with videos. So first thing I wanted to take a look at to show you is the divergence. So SPX, you'll see that we've so sold off about 120 points from February 21st to yesterday at the close, coming into about 38.90. So 110 points sell off. If you take a look at the HYG, which is high yield corporate bonds, smart money essentially, you'll see that we are flat. So February 21st to today, we have not moved, where we've sold off significantly on the S&P 500. This basically means that we're likely to do for a bounce. That's the first thing. Second thing is the fear and greed index because in extreme fear on the fear and greed index, you come down to the put call ratio. We're at the highest we've basically been in the past year and a half. So every time this happens, there's rapid squeezes in the opposite direction, the upside, just to stop out shorts and get this put call ratio to the downside. So, you know, it's just not a good area to short in my opinion. Now, what can happen is when this does happen, and there's a lot of people, it can act as a magnet when there's a lot of puts in the market where it pulls the market down because a lot of people are betting to the downside, so they push it down. This can happen for a short period of time, but then what happens is a rapid squeeze in the upside. So we could get one more dump to sweep the recent lows and then get the big push, so I could get stopped out, and then we get that big push of about like 100 points of upside, or we just get it today. If we take a look at other things, we can take a look at the VIX. So VIX yesterday, we had a huge spike, about 10%. We came up to that 29, 30 level again, but got rejected. Other thing is that UVXY has been pushing up significantly, but we had this uh, kind of topping candle yesterday. So we could push down. And when UVXY pushes down, then S&P 500 and uh, NASDAQ pushes up. So that's another thing. You'll also see that the uh, gold has been pushing up real aggressively because there's been a lot of fear in the market. You know, I, I kind of said recently that we had this big flip where before good news was bad news for the market because good news meant the economy was strong and Powell can keep tightening. Bad news for the markets. Now, when we have bad news, it means the recession is coming. So now the markets go down. So we have this flip now where used to be good news was bad news for the markets and bad news was good news. Now I think we're back to bad news is bad news. Good news will be good news. Dollar now uh, kind of bottomed and started pushing up. Personally, I think if the dollar keeps pushing up, we can see more weakness. Um, or if we keep trending down, then the markets can can go up even more. Look at the rates. Last thing I wanted to go over is the two-year and the 10-year. So two-year and 10-year really sold off. It means mortgage rates are going to fall. We would only push back up again if inflation keeps coming in real high. We make new highs with inflation. But I don't think that's very likely at this point. And we could keep trending down with the rates. And if this does happen, then we could see more pain for the markets because it means the economy is very weak. 
So two years sold off, kind of balancing, bouncing a bit, and 10 years sold off significantly. I think that we're going to push up, sweep the recent highs, and then push down by the end of March, come down to sweep the recent lows in December, and come down finishing off the end of March or early April around 37.50 to 37.80. So, you know, if we do get big pops, big rebounds, you know, there could be good shorting opportunities, in my opinion. Look out for my next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.